coast, coast from, out from the Netherlands. Um, Europe will not become a super state, but it is also not an international organization. Uh, it's not a playground for diplomats. What will the European Union be when this new uh, treaty has been concluded? It's a good subject for um, academic scholars, for the Congress of Political Science, <laughs> uh, for... No, also for the uh, normal people. Yes. For normal people, they will understand that the European Union is, um, as it has been, not a super state, as you said. We are not the United States of Europe in the way we have the United States of America. We are not. At the same time, we are not also an um, international organization like NATO or OSCE or a Council of Europe uh, or uh, whatever, you see. We are, in fact, a very special uh, construction, unique, unique in the history of uh, mankind. We never had that uh, a kind of organization, or if you want, uh, institutional creation, where we have free countries that are united and that they have decided to work together with some degree of cooperation or even integration. That is what we are. And in fact, I don't see why we should be all the time um, with existential doubts about it. That is the way we have been doing. And I, I feel pretty comfortable in this because um, we are adding value to what we do at national level. It's all, all of, of course obvious today that national dimension is not enough. It's a question of common sense. If you want to fight climate change, if you want to provide energy security, we cannot do it alone at the national level. We need more than that. We need European dimension. European dimension is the, in the indispensable dimension through the local to the global. And the more globalization goes, and it's quite obvious that it is there to stay, we need that dimension more. But at the same time, we are not doing it in a way that we are creating a super state that is diluting the national identities, not at all. I th honestly, I don't see a danger to British uh, or German or French identity. Anyone thinks that's a real risk now for... No, there is not such a risk. On the contrary, what we are seeing is that in this united um, project, we see precisely the affirmation of the differences and diversity that is only natural. And so this is the way we are. In fact, it's not very different from where we have been. That is why the rationale for this uh, reform was precisely to adapt to the new conditions, but keeping, after all, the great vision of the founding fathers of the community. What was the great vision of the founding fathers from Schumann to Monet to Adenauer to all the others? Was a step-by-step -step approach to create a solidarité de fait, as we say in the Schumann uh, declaration, a solidarité de fait that brings people together and makes the case for, you know, this is the way we are. Uh, some people said in this that we are a kind of unidentified political object. It's an interesting, an interesting uh, definition. And I think we should not be um, depressed with that. It's, a, um, anyway, a very successful experiment. I think, we, honestly, if you look at history of institutions, I mean, we never had such a thing. Sometimes I try to compare it. I'm sorry for my divagation, but that is, I was a scholar as well, you know. <laughs> That's a very risky question to put to me. Uh, because I was teaching these issues in the university for some time. And Sometimes I like to compare the European Union as a creation to the organization of empires. The empires. And uh, because we have the dimension of empires. But there is a great difference. The empires were usually made through force, with a center that was imposing a diktat, a will on the others. And now we have what some authors call the first non-imperial empire. We have, by dimension, 27 countries that freely decided to work together to pool their sovereignties, if you want to use that concept of sovereignty, and work together to add value. 
I believe it's a great construction, and we should be proud of it. At least we in the Commission are proud of can, our union. Can I add a sentence? Yes, please. I think you it was also, speak. wasn't it uh, the Lord who said jokingly that you also have to be either genius or French to understand the construction <laughs> of it? But I, I propose something much more uh, sort of useful uh, to citizens, and that is Solutions United, like a football team. <laughs>